Hey everyone, before we begin the video, I just want to let you know that I'll be on break. I'll be gone from December 14th to January 31st, so don't worry, you know when I'm coming back. Unlike certain YouTubers. You know, Christmas isn't the only holiday in December. There's also New Year's, which means one thing. Booze. Which means another thing. Hangovers. And that means we have to concoct a hangover cure. And it's been known that fatty foods and egg yolk have been known to soften the blow of a hangover. That lead me to create this. Putanedict, a hangover cure that will end all hangover cures. That and low blood pressure. Oh, why did I film this the day before I went to the doctors? First thing first, let's take care of the fries. And let's grab two russet potatoes. First thing you gotta do, wash them. Next, peel them. Or not. I like to put the skin on. Oh. Microphone wasn't on. <sighs> I guess I'll just have to VO this. Anyway, get yourself a mandolin slicer. Link in the description, by the way. Set it to julienne at 3 8 of an inch. While using a kitchen towel to protect yourself, just shove your potato into the blades back and forth. Once the potatoes all slice and diced, rinse our fries in cold water, then transfer them to a tea towel to dry. Now that our fries are cut and washed, we can take them straight to the fryer, right? Sure, they'll be cooked, but you won't get that nice crispy exterior. Now you can twice fry them, but A, it's kind of messy, and B, you end up overcooking the fry. Thankfully, there's another way. We are gonna par cook our fries in a microwave. It's nice, convenient, and it gets the job done without the mess. Take in our fries, and set it for five and a half minutes on high. Don't want to microwave you, Mr. GoPro. Now, before we cook the fries, we have to take care of something. As we make our other ingredients, the fries are going to get cold and soggy. Now, we can fix that with a food lamp heat tray. Unfortunately, they'll set you back a pretty penny. So we'll DIY one for about 20 bucks. Go to the hardware store, buy a clamp light and a heat bulb. The whole kit and caboodle should be around 20 bucks. Clamp it to something, turn it on, and you'll no longer have to worry about stale, soggy french fries. All right, now that our fries have cooled down from their cook in the microwave, Grab yourself a five quart Dutch oven, fill it up two thirds of the way with oil. Oh, and a uh, link in the description if you want one. And set the temperature for 375. Did PewDiePie mistake your country for a place in India? The number you're looking for is 190 degrees. Leave your entries in the Gently dunk in our fries using a skimmer like this. Cook until golden brown and delicious. Once they're done cooking, throw them in a large metal bowl. Throw some uh, salt on them. Give them a nice toss. And plate up. Now then, let's work on the hollandaise. In a bowl, I have three egg yolks, to which we'll add two tablespoons of lemon juice, Two and a half teaspoons of salt, and about a quarter teaspoon of hot sauce. Personally, I love Kahlua, but if you want, you can create the suicide death sauce and create creamy napalm. Whisk to combine. Okay, once it lightens up like this, add a stick and a half of unsalted butter, cold and cubed. All right, to cook the hollandaise, set your burner to low. Just keep whisking until it's nice, creamy, and thick. Now, if this method looks familiar, that's because it's Chef John's method, and to me, it's just easier, so. But if you want to double boil it, that's okay. Now for our meat. Now have the pan of the bacon sizzling in a medium-sized saute pan over medium-high heat. When enough fat has rendered out the bacon, add half a pound of ham cubed. You get a bit of a char like this, 
transfer them to our plate. Next up, the eggs. Right here I have a two quart saucepan filled with water, to which we'll add one tablespoon of white vinegar. It helps the eggs congeal faster. Speaking of which, when making poached eggs, make sure you have your eggs in a cup like this. It's very important they enter the water one at a time. All right, once that hits the boil, bring it down to a simmer. And cook your eggs for two minutes. And once that's all done, drizzle a hollandaise sauce all over. So, whether you drank the night before due to a wicked awesome party, or spent the night drinking alone because over the years, your circle of friends slowly dissolved into nothing. This will cure ya. This has been Chase Cutton Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Please subscribe. My chip tooth repair was not covered by my insurance and I had to pay a thousand dollars out of pocket. That's the only Christmas gift I asked from you.